this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a variable speed effect using retime controls. And I'll be using this video right here, which as you can see, is just playing at normal speed right now to do the demonstration. Okay, so now the first thing we need to do is to pull up retime controls. And to do that, we need to right click this video. And in the menu, let's locate retime controls. And let's simply click on that. Or alternatively, we can use keyboard shortcut, command R, and it will do the same thing and it's much faster. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is to add speed points. The reason why speed points are important is because it separates the video into different parts where we can potentially have different speed for those different parts. Okay, and, and the position of the playhead is going to uh, be instrumental in helping us uh, achieve that. So now based on the precision of the, uh, of the playhead, I'm going to right click the drop down menu next to 100%, click add speed point, and this will effectively add a speed point based on the location of the playhead. So now right away you can see that it has divided the video into two parts where we can potentially have two different speed. Okay, so now knowing that, we're going to create a few more. Uh, so we're gonna move the playhead over here and let's go ahead and create uh, one more. Again, it works the same way. Uh, let's move it over here, move the playhead over here. Uh, let's do one more here. So effective right away, we have pretty much cr uh, divided the video into four different parts where we can potentially have four different sets of speed. Now that the speed points are set, the next thing we need to do is to start adjusting the video clip speed for those different speed points. So for the first speed point, I'm going to the drop down menu. I'm going to right click the drop down menu next to 100%, go to change speed, and select from the list of preset video speed, uh, the speed that I want. So in this case, I'm going to go with actually 75%. I'm going to slow down the uh, video, the first part of the video. Perfect. Second one, I'm going to speed up, so I'm going to go above 100%. And the third one, I'm also going to speed it up a little. So, and the last part, I'm going to leave it at 100% right now. So, okay, so let's go ahead and play this video right now. And as you can see, uh, visibly, uh, there is a difference in the video speed in those different part, uh, parts of the video. So now the question you may be asking at this point is that what if you don't want those preset speed? What if you want to create your own or uh, customize it? Uh, the way you like to your liking so to do that we need to click the top part of the speed point and it doesn't matter which one it is we simply need to click on the top part and drag it left and right and this will allow you as you can see to really customize the speed uh, to your liking so in this case if we drag it to the right that will further slow it down and if we drag to the left that will um, speed it up so in this case, I'm going to um, just drag it to the right a little bit and I'm going to uh, set it all uh, at this speed right here. And that looks good. Uh, so as you can see, and it works the same for all the other speed points. And the best part uh, is once again, is that you can set it at a very particular uh, speed. Um, okay, so now this is perfect. Let's play this video again. And again, visibly, you will see a drastic change in speed in those different parts of the video. Another question you might be asking at this point is that how do we adjust the duration of the video for that particular speed point? So now, in this case, for the last part of the video, it seems like it's dragging on for too long and we want to shorten the part of the video that are playing at 100%. To do that, we need to use the lower part of the speed point and we need to click on it and then all we need to do is just drag in left and right to reallocate the part of the video that go into each speed point. So if I go to, if I drag it towards the right, as you can see, less video will go to that 100% video speed and more will go to 476 uh, percent. And if I drag it to the left, this will do the opposite. So if I want less video that will be playing at 100%, I just need to drag it to the right and let's just leave it there. And now if we play it, you will notice that right now that when we play this, uh, compared to before, uh, less video are now playing at 100%. So now let's play, go ahead and play this whole thing. And uh, once again, you know, you will notice that a less video will be playing at the last part. It's actually, a, and it's also actually a better variable speed effect compared to before.
Once again, we're gonna come back to the last part of this video clip and we're going to adjust the speed for this part of the video. Now we could use the drop down menu and we could go to change speed, select one of the preset. But the question is, what if we want to actually select a or customize that speed? Unfortunately, as you can see, if we use the nearest speed point, it only affects the speed to the left of the speed point. It doesn't allow us to adjust the or customize the speed uh, for the last part of this video. That's just how the system is, unfortunately, but there is a workaround. Okay, so to do that, we need to actually uh, go to select, select uh, the last few frames in the end here, and we'll you, uh, add a new speed point. And now, uh, with this new speed point, we can customize the uh, video speed for this part of the video. And to really make it perfect, we'll use the lower part portion, the lower part of the speed uh, point, and we'll drag it towards the very end so that every frame in this part of this video is going to be playing at this new video speed. Okay, that's great. And one last thing is to clear speed points. So to do that, all we need to do is once again, go back to the drop down menu and we can select uh, clear speed point, click on that, and that will effectively remove a uh, speed point. But it doesn't remove the variable speed effect. And if you think that we can remove the variable speed effect by just, uh, you know, click the read time controls again, uh, well, that's not right. While it looks like everything's gone, uh, it's very clean, it's essentially just hiding the menu, but if we actually play the video right now, you will notice that it's still playing at variable speed. So now to effectively uh, remove the variable speed effect, we actually need to go back to the speed point and let's go do that and let's bring it back up. Uh, go back to the speed point and we'll right click the, again, the drop down menu and we'll select reset to 100% for that speed point. And we will do that for the last speed point as well. Reset to 100%. So now if we play this whole video, you will notice that everything is now back to playing at 100% video speed.